Six plus size people versus one fake. Let's check it out. Welcome to the Creator Launchpad. We want to see your idea for a new video. No, you don't. Where do you guys buy your jeans from? That honestly depends. I've had some luck. I mean, yo, chat. I always tell y'all guys this, bro. I always tell y'all this. When y'all see a chick put the the jeans above her belly like this, careful. Careful, I got catfish with that one time. I present more masculine, so a lot of the times I will- I think everyone's doing that. Everyone's doing that. Every, at least every chick is doing that. That got jeans on. The jeans is over the belly. <laughs> like, resource to- only Look, over the belly. Over the belly. Over the belly. <laughs> Maybe I'll just kind of go there and like get one of the bigger pairs. Um, I actually did just get a pair from old- The guy ain't doing that. If a guy's doing that, that's gonna look so crazy. But even she's doing over the belly. Maybe like a but weeks. she's like she barely well she yeah she is plus size weeks ago and I love but this it. is like a decent plus size it's not like crazy it, but it's a little big in the waist so I do have to take it in I'm probably gonna tailor it though so uh, but I do love old navy jeans especially their men's section I don't really wear jeans but I think the only two pairs that I own are from Shein. I feel like it depends jeans? what style I'm going for. True. Like for fitted jeans, I definitely think like good Americans might go to. Obviously, they're like on the higher end of like pricing wise, but they like make my ass look great. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Also, like getting the confidence to actually wear what you want. It took me forever. So when I actually did, I'm still in the mentality when I was like 16, 17 and I could fit in a medium. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, this I can't go to the same stores. Like right. I can't go to a mall and buy clothes anymore i would say two years ago i would go to like goodwills and value villages but that has become a lot harder as of late the, <laughs> the mole what the heck i will say this this is how the mole is probably able to count like the fit in with the the plus size folks is fat a bad word now like why we can't say fat anymore chat what's going on with the internet man i'm starting to miss the old days bro what's wrong with saying fat like i had to do with it with growing up why we can't say fat no more? Like, why is everyone being so <sighs> soft? I'm scared to even say or call people fat because I feel like I might get in trouble for that. Like, I feel like Twitch might hit me with something. YouTube might hit me with something. So plus size. I feel as though he probably was plus size at a certain point, but he lost the weight. That's probably why he's here. The reason that I chose to do this was mainly because it meant a lot to me to share the idea of like, as you transition away from being in a bigger body to potentially being in a skinnier body, that is not something that like makes you harder working or better at like achieving some sort of goal than the other person or another person that you may see in a plus size body. And going into it, I like promised myself I wasn't gonna tell any lies. I was gonna be very truthful and speak on every kind of experience that I had had leading up to today. I wanted to make sure that what I was saying was stuff that I lived through. I think putting on a character would be disrespectful to the other people that were here today. Wait, what is he talking about? You p losing the weight doesn't make you put off, put it seem as harder working or in harder working in terms of like self care. That's true. You are technically harder working if you was plus size at one given point and you was at some point able to lose that weight. You do that shows you have enough care for your body and you love yourself to the point like, you know what? Let me tread down the fat so I could move around better as a human being. I already told you guys my experiences when I was 60 pounds heavier. I've had days when I was doing regular human activities and I would sweat profusely. My heart rate would go up from going up the stairs and I would be gassed from doing a basic regular activities around the house. That's the life of someone who's, and I wasn't even, I wouldn't even consider myself plus size. People who would look around me, they wouldn't even say I was fat at the time. They'll just say I was like, okay, chubby or big. Not even like that big, like, the options here but in to my standards and to my like what i'm used to that was crazy to me so imagine how the rest of the people who are like plus size got to deal with that i just thrift most of my clothing and like i have a tailor for my pants anyway Shout like back in, like, yeah, it's like it's mad like, work <laughs> even for getting clothes bro like most plus size people they can't even wear regular jeans bro they don't they don't sell okay chat but exception of her and him Everyone else is closed except him too. Everyone else is closed. You're not finding at a regular store. For the exception of the shoes, these pants are not regular pants. The shirts are, you could probably get the shirts at certain sizes, but these are, these are not regular stuff to find. 
Uh, I'm it's harder to shop when you're plus size. I just commute in there. There's this one thrift store. I don't know if anybody's been called the L train and like that is really good for carrying bigger sizes back in my actual hometown. Fishnets? I don't know how some, some, some strong fishnets. So I thrift probably 90% of my clothing Fine. cheaper, saves energy and like it feels way easier. There is no way he's going to go pay like $15 for jeans, then go pay $45. Like I get it as a plus size person tailoring for some things. Great. But I could not believe for a second that he is tailoring every set. And I was like, he, he is not fat anymore. Not gonna <laughs> Wait, she said fat. I gotta say fat. Wait, she just said it. Lie shot that. He said he got brawl as a kid by playing football. Yeah. Okay. Here's my journey of weight. I started off fat, chubby. I played football, lost weight, got brolic. Stopped playing football at 14, I became skinny. Still have fat loss. Like the fat loss was there. I was skinny until I was 18. 18, got in a relationship. Was eating all the fucking time and not working out anymore. Gained mad weight. <laughs> mad weight. Up to the point I became 21. 21 started losing weight now we're back here to me at 23 that's my weight loss stuff eating those edibles i wasn't even that heavy when i was eating the edibles to be honest with you <laughs> it was the chicken that came after it how do we all identify do we identify like what do we use um to label ourselves if you have one a t thank you Ooh, I like yeah. Uh, yeah i have a weird feeling about that one for some reason <laughs> really? i just i like just around. normal yeah because i'll yeah. say fat and then people be like oh my god fat and then i'll be like it's not inherently a bad no. word thank you thank you don't clap for her i'm gonna just call y'all flat the entire video bruh thank you I got the cosign. I could say it. I could say it now. Someone who's not soft as hell. It's an adjective. That's the thing. No, but it is kind of taboo because I was like, oh yeah, I'm fat. Don't say that. You're beautiful. I am gorgeous, but I am fat. Thank you. I was ugly. Yeah, it's, oh my God, yeah, bro. I, sorry, I misspoke. People like, treat it like it's right, right. Like that. so it's yeah. Two truths. I'm you're like, bro, you could be fat and still be somewhat attractive. Don't get it wrong. I do think being overweight does take away from like your attractiveness to a certain point if you go overboard. But being fat doesn't necessarily mean you're an ugly person. There's some fat chicks who have some really cute faces. If and if they lost some weight, they'll probably look even better. And there's some skinny, ugly ass motherfuckers. <laughs> there's some people who are skinny and ugly as shit. Like that doesn't necessarily mean you're ugly. I'm like, exactly. It yeah. just means you fat. I do, I feel beautiful, but I am fat. Being fat or plus size does not mean that we're not active. Flat or fat, both. People that we're not worthy, like worthy. It really sucks when people treat you differently because- Like look at her, you look at her. If she lost some weight, she will be a calm six. But the thing is, when you're overweight, you get the, the double chin, bro. I seen I was getting the double chins at some point, bro. I said, bro, that's what made me start running in the first place. I was like, hell no. You get the double chin and all this stuff, all these little extra layers that be added onto your face. It brings down your attractiveness value sometimes because I feel as though as you lose weight, you can see your facial structures even more. They start to poke out more. You become a bit more attractive. Rather than a size so I'll say it bring down your attractiveness, but doesn't that fault like make you unattractive? Two or four. When I like, for example, there's people out there who love big women. A lot of them. A lot of them. Am I one of them? No, sir. But there's a lot of them out there. Yeah, that motherfucker skinny, skinny. Wow. I just took out the lieutenant. <laughs> what? I just, oh I'm psychic. I know, I know. They even got the plus size person to bring them out too. That's crazy. I think the the odd one out is probably somebody who lived as a fat person, be, yeah, but yeah. lost the weight. But usually, as long as you're not, as long as you're not unhealthy. Yeah, there's some overweight people who are healthy. There's some fat people who could probably outrun me. <laughs> people that do grow up fat or you know go through weight loss journey they end up but the thing is those fat people they're not that big like you could like tell a fat person who's like athletic to a certain extent like for instance i'll give a good example a lineman who plays football those dudes are like 300 pounds 200 something they're big as shit they're probably faster than a lot of people they're probably they're stronger than a lot of people 
But they are they they have the physical fitness of an athlete. They they'll look big, but they have height and everything to go with their bigness and muscle. Being obese and being unhealthy is when it's just fat all over. You could tell when someone's like fat and they have a bit of healthiness to them. Being more fat phobic, um, that's not in all cases. It's not in all cases, yeah. but it, it, like, it does happen a lot. Turning in on that, like I really do think that in my personal experience, people that go from being in a bigger body into like becoming skinny feel some sort of resentment, especially because I think they tie achievement to what they've done for some yeah. reason. Like there's this, mm -hmm. there's this very big principle of like, look at what I've done. And they very, yeah. they push this like American dream esque mentality of Honestly. like, yeah, like genuinely, like exactly. I worked hard and I did this. And it's like, well, not everybody and, wants to yeah, do that. Yeah, and like, that's fine. Like, that's that's fine. If yeah. you want to lose weight, do that. But you don't need to like project that onto everyone else. Not and I would all. think if you were somebody who lived that experience you as a fat understand. person, you, you would understand. understand. Then here's the thing. Here's my counter argument to this. As someone who used to be plus sized. Even though I'm jacking, I'm, I've never really been plus sized, to be honest with you. Me being overweight is just me being like 240, 250. I, I think everyone here in the panel except for him weighs more than I did at my worst. But... If you're going to complain about certain things in regards to like your lifestyle as being a plus size person, meaning there's a lack of clothes that fit me. There's a lack of. There's a lack of roles for me. There's a lack of this and that going on. America is like the one place in the world where they openly they're trying to make it like more acceptable. But in other places on the earth, like, for instance, China, Japan, Iran, Europe, all this stuff, their standards are different. When you're overweight, they don't really accommodate you that much. I used to work at Primark and their sizes are like, their mediums are like smalls for like US men. Their largest are like mediums. Same thing in other countries. In the US, they accommodate all these people, but if the accommodations that you receive in the US is still not enough, that means, okay, we can't like, not every store is gonna try to accommodate you if you're gonna just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. That's what I'm saying. There's like a certain threshold you gotta hit where it's like, okay, it's not the most healthiest of lifestyles. So I already lost track of what my point is. <laughs> what I'm saying is you can't get everything, bro. I'm sorry. You can't get everything. Dating, I've, m I've met many guys who were like, I used to be big. So I understand that being smaller is more desirable. And it's just like this conversation just rubs me the wrong way because yeah, I'm, I've been met with so many people who think like that. Yeah. And like the worst person I dated was very fat phobic and they used to be bigger and they lost weight. And they were like shaming me about my body being like, you know, Red we'd black. have better sex if you were smaller. Oh. And all <laughs> you know what's funny? He's right. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's harsh, but to be honest, that's that's I wouldn't even call that necessarily him being fat phobic. That's your partner. If he's not interested in dealing with someone who's overweight, then he shouldn't have went out with you in the first place. But here's the thing. Did he lose the weight while he was with you? And the thing is, as a couple, because I remember I used to do this. If one person is going on that journey to lose weight, y'all should be doing that together as a couple to support each other. Y'all both taking on healthier health habits and y'all become better as a whole. And in a relationship, if he's voicing to you the things that he doesn't like deem attractive or the things he wants to see like changes in. And y'all was in a relationship before he did like before he actually like, you know, lost the weight. Again, I wouldn't call it fat phobic. I'll just be like, he's telling you what it is because he wants to stay in a relationship with you. And if you don't make these certain accommodations, then <sighs> it's not going to work out. Oh, like, no. oh my god! No, it well, depends on the timing. It's the connotation, right? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because, because they like quote. On, sorry, fat is I was bad. Gonna, well, I was gonna throw up air. It's quotes. not bad. There's bad habits. When you're fat, you're freaking. Your stamina is trash. How are you gonna have good sex when you're overweight? It's facts. I'm sorry, bro. I've been through it. When you're fat, that's a fact. <laughs> your stamina, your heart rate is trash. <laughs> Two pumps. <gasps> You're going to be breathing and sweaty, looking like a fucking, you're going to be looking like a freaking swine house in there. You're going to be smelling like roast beef in that bitch. Like, it's a fact. It's not just because you're fat. There's other habits that happen. There's other things that come with the weight. Yeah. Uh, because... Like, for instance, he can't pick you up. You know how many positions is out the window because he cannot pick you up no more? Just, ugh. My son about to pop a blood vessel picking you up, bro. Like. It's true. There's other things that are entailed if you're overweight.
they like put in the work yeah. that part being in air quotes and like became yeah. uh, into a skinnier body yeah. all of a sudden there's this idea Wait, like yeah. you aren't working as well yeah. Yeah. Can can we, not, but again not everybody yeah. wants to yeah. work that hard exactly to can we also go down the line and maybe then you need to be open in that relationship and tell him that straight up i need more context when it comes to that type of situation if you're being open with your partner that i don't plan on losing weight and the thing is I don't think I've spoke to anyone who's been on this, um, who's plus size, who's openly said, like, at least to me and my dialogues with them, that they want to stay plus size forever. It's usually in a dialogue, like, that's what they're at right now, and they're working on it. But they're usually, like, really lackluster in, like, their efforts on working on that. But what I was trying to say was this. You got to be vocal in a relationship. There's more context that's necessary to understand, like, what's going on have um been fat or plus size most of our life um or if oh, it, you actually know. that's great because yeah. i wanted to say for me it was a little bit different mm -hmm. growing in south america there isn't a lot of uh, overweight people obese people and i've always been curvy so to speak and i was fine but i was still like you know how they say you i spent my skinny years thinking i was fat so i moved to the u.s when i was 16 and oh. i started getting weight you know the life here is different mm. um i wasn't as active yeah. i wasn't doing sports anymore Mm. And then I was on birth control. So for me, it was hormonal imbalance that made me gain a lot of weight. But it really sucked. And, you know, in my own skin, I'm going to start crying. I'm sorry. Um, you know, like being skinny and like now you're fat and like everybody treats you different. Yeah. I think yeah. it's, it's difficult. Okay. Um. Then, like I said, there are certain solutions to this. Like I said, I don't know what the pros and cons of being overweight is. I'm not trying to be the asshole like, oh. But what are the pros of being overweight? I don't understand it. The only pros I could think of is that you could eat more. And that's not really a pro either because, like I said, there's so many cons that go into it. So I can understand what people is like on your neck about it. Difficult too because, um, you know, I grew up. Fat. I've been fat my entire life, and I've always envied, in a way, like the. Eat many, like, many I've many always foods. wondered what it would be like to live in a thin body and how yeah, people treat you sure. differently. Like I've always, I've, dream I've dreamt about it. That's the, okay. The conversation is sounding more so like they want to be, they want to lose weight. You see what I'm talking about? I haven't met a fat person who's like, nah, I'm fat. Only dudes. I've seen niggas. I've seen fat, and they just fat. They, that's them. <laughs> they own that shit. <laughs> they don't cry about it. They just keep it pushing. Like, nah, that's me, bro. <laughs> like, that's them. Like, they, I did. That's they. That's them. And they don't make it their big identity thing or to have an identity crisis. Like, yo, what if I was skinny? Nah, they big. They big. It's usually with women, but most of the women that I spoke of or spoke to that like are overweight. They seem like there's a certain level of enviness to being low, to lose the weight. Like, they want to lose the weight. And I think that is really difficult when you, like, yeah, exactly. Like, you, I understand what you're saying. Like, you've lived both, and it's hard because, you know, from people who haven't, it's just we don't even, we can't even you fathom. You don't even understand. Yeah. No. And speaking into the whole spending your skinny years feeling like you're fat, I definitely relate to that. I'm a bulimia survivor. Um, I was bulimic for about eight years. And I also played volleyball, and it was, in, like, in theater and stuff like that. And the only reason I stopped throwing up and binging and purging is because I was losing my voice. And I love to sing. Mm -hmm. And I got nodes. Oh, no, that's oh, the worst. Shit. Oh, oh, my God. I went from um, mezzo-soprano to mezzo-alto. Are we all crying now? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I went right. Um, but, yeah, like, if, if it didn't affect my voice, I don't know if I would have stopped. stopped. Mm. Why do you vote her? It what really the? It my heart after you know, having to wow. vote people out who, in my in my heart, I knew were fat to just feel invalidated. That just that sucks. That really sucks. Wow, they can't get the mole. Are you damn? What? <laughs> you could hear in some people's voice like the overweightness. Like why they voted her out? Because <laughs> I wasn't crying. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Facts. So the eliminations is something that we're because she wasn't crying. Feel like it took away from the experience. It was just like being in the space where we were sharing our stories and everything felt so heartfelt. But it's just a game. But overall, it was really awesome to be in the space and have these conversations that 
don't happen often if you don't have fat friends to talk about them with. As someone who mm -hmm. grew up very self-conscious and didn't know where to look and turn to see people like me, I take that on as an adult to speak about these things and have these conversations that we're still confused about. If you think the mole is still in the box and you wish to continue playing the game, please raise your hand. I swear to God, if anyone's lying, oh my God, I'm For so real. pissed. If the lights turn green, that means you have voted the mole out and you win. Why the mole look like he about to squeal himself? Like, bro. Red, that means the mole is still in the box. And you what is what this dude feel? What's wrong with this dude? Three. Oh no, oh, we lost. Oh, on the count of three, everyone can take off their blindfolds. One, two, three. I f knew it. I, knew it. <laughs> I told a heartfelt story about dating wow. someone fat phobic. You guys voted me. Okay, can we talk about a million and one reasons why it was Derek? Okay, the only one that got me was like the theater. Like I really could relate with that. So I Same. obviously know that no, you were, like you I, really that were. Was your biggest red I think flag. that was true. It, that, it no, was it was true. true. That's what I said. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, I feel bad, bro. It looks like he looking like a chicken wing right now. <laughs> they all just eyeing this nigga down, bro. I'm not even gonna lie, I start sweating profusely. Like I ain't getting myself out of this one. Like imagine they all just grab him. You ever seen a fumble in football, bro? <laughs> <laughs> like imagine they just like get on his ass like it was a fucking football fumble. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't be scared. <laughs> that nigga string me. That's an important thing. Nothing. Yeah. There is not a sing yeah. I would run out my seat. <laughs> fourth grade, I was four feet tall. I was 144 pounds. And my doctor told me that I was morbidly obese. And it was a very like self-image wrecking thing for me because it was he used language that made it seem like I needed to change as opposed to just assessing where I was like I said everything that I talked about before was true but when we were talking about people being incredibly fat phobic mm -hmm. that go through a transition of being in a bigger body and then ending up the quote-unquote skinnier that experience for me was I was a quote -unquote. mistook the pain that came with not having self-love as being associated with a number on a scale and as I kept moving the goalposts further and further away from myself and saying like, this will be when I'm happy with myself and this will be the time in my life where I like the way I look. And once I do this, I'll be happy with myself. I was no happier than when I started. I just kept being further and further from a goal that I was changing. I am happy not because of the way that my body looks but because I can have self-acceptance and that's a very difficult journey for anybody to go on and me losing any form of weight played no factor in that. Well, speak for yourself, nigga. I'm happy. <laughs> Sorry, bro. I gotta cut the point. I gotta keep it short. I, right, bro. I was depressed when I was fat, nigga. I don't know what you' talking about. For multiple reasons, it took me longer to take showers. I was get, bro. Everything was ass. Everything that I enjoyed to do, I started sweating. So that means I felt uncomfortable doing basic stuff, like I was saying before. The fact that I'm losing weight and the fact that I'm the most active right now, bro. Like, I'm cheesing like a bitch. I'm smiling. <laughs> like, I don't know. Maybe everyone has their own little thing. If that's the case, that means your issue wasn't with your weight in the first place. It was something else that was wrong with you. But for people who, like, mainly have their issues with them being overweight and they having some type of, like, it sounded as though, like, they have a level of envy for those of those are the people who lost the weight or who are currently, like, skinny or whatnot then their depression or their angst is mainly with their weight. So losing that weight, at least if you ask me, should be at least a beginning step or the first step in order for you to like, you know, be a little bit happier with yourself. I hope that in watching this video, somebody can learn that the horrible stereotype that they have of plus size people, whether that be that they're lazy or sluggish or they don't eat right or they're not healthy. This didn't change that. There are people that are plus size that are faster than you. There are people that are plus size that are in better conditions than the average human being. I was definitely plus size for this. a long period of my life. And I still feel the residuals of like the way people treat you for being in a plus size body, like to this day. This is the first time that I'm hearing a lot of these things. Cause at least for me growing up, it wasn't like being bullied. He said there was plus size people who are faster than me. Yo, let's do a relay race. All of us, all of us in this room together. I want to see who comes out on top. <laughs> Please stop being a dickhead. I already did mention that there's people who are faster than you that are overweight. 
but you could usually tell the difference. There's a level of muscle. There's a level of activity. Like it's not just an overflow of them being fat, and there's nothing but fat there covering their body. It's a balance to an extent. They may be round or shaped, but you could usually tell those out. Someone who's necessarily in the body build of, let's say, her, is not beating no regular person in a race. Let's not go there. Not beating no regular person. Her, maybe. She has, it looks like there's a little bit of muscle, muscle there somewhere, but maybe. Him, he looked like he'll probably got more muscle, but a race, I don't know or anything like that it was just like my own mind attacking myself like seeing in the mirror and be like oh my god you're fat you need to lose weight outside of that like i didn't experience like the bullying and name calling i didn't see any of that so like hearing you guys like that's that's a lot i couldn't tell like how i had an, an eating disorder when i was younger and how i overcame that and then i slowly started drifting back to it and i'm trying to lose weight now in a more healthy manner so I wish I could have told that story to the group. Yeah, he should have. Like I said, a lot of people that are overweight, I, it's, it's different. Today, they're pushing to be overweight. It's okay to be overweight. Stay overweight, even though there's a lot of cons to it. And if that's what you want to do, then sure. But like I said, there's not that many people that I know who are overweight, and they want to stay overweight. Even Lizzo, I'm seeing her ass running on treadmills. She's losing weight. Like, I understand, like, there shouldn't be any, like, necessarily bullying for that, not whatever. But what I'm saying is that let's not promote it as this is, like, a healthy lifestyle to be in. It's still an unhealthy lifestyle. The same thing that goes with someone who's consuming drugs or, like, who's always drinking alcohol. They're all unhealthy lifestyles. So they shouldn't be getting praised for necessarily doing that. Just like, oh, you're just a plus size person, whatever. I'm sorry to anybody that shared something personal and then, like, because of this. Yeah, we don't care. Lied to or <laughs> All right, chat. What y'all want to do now? <laughs> <This is> <laughs>